the income eligibility cap recently imposed to the S-CHIP program during the first 100 days of the next Congress. Oh, it's just starting to budge. Uh, I think Steve had a good idea to stand up and I'll see us. Uh, I think in many ways the answer to this question is, is the same answer uh, to the last question. Uh, as far as S-CHIP is concerned, uh, we have to find the money to do it and in my mind there are several ways to do it and if you look at the Medicare program as I've said I guess now for the third time there's about 35 billion dollars in profits that uh, I think uh, they need to be taken out of the Medicare program and money for that needs to go to pay for the expansion of eligibility requirements uh, for the S-CHIP program. Um, however I think if we pick up and pass the kind of bill that Barack Obama is talking about, then all people in the United States will have the opportunity for health insurance. And I think that's probably the goal of us all here tonight. Uh, I, I think the biggest concern I have is the same thing that happened in 1992 when uh, the Democrats were in power the last time. It uh, wasn't just the Republicans who don't believe in any governmental uh, uh, funded health care programs. Uh, it was squabbles among the Democrats. They couldn't get their act together. And I fear that there's a lot of people up there that won't get behind the Democratic president to pass the bill that he proposes, that they think that they have better ideas than the one that has the best chance of passing. Now, if I look at his program, I can find certain things that I don't, don't like. I, I don't like the insurance companies being involved at all. But, uh, you know, to me, you pass this bill first and make sure that everybody has coverage, and then as time goes on, you perfect it. Thank you. You want to know what somebody's going to do, look at what they've done. Let's look at that. When we had the s chip program in front of us in the 90s, in the late 90s, one of the things that I'll tell you is, and Ken just mentioned, we had very close numbers in the Missouri House, 87 Democrats, 82 as a majority, and we had a number of individuals on our side of the aisle that might have questions about moving anything forward when it had to do with health insurance reform. So when you have to deal with that, you have to be able to work together to come up with ways to move a bill forward. I worked on this legislation when it went to conference. We had had major confrontations on the floor of the House. Both sides of the aisle had been up. It was not an easy situation and there were large disagreements. One of the disagreements had to do with how far the coverage went in covering those at a certain level of poverty. I believed it was important for us to be more expansive so that individuals who were working, who were transitioning in some cases from welfare to work, or who had lower paying jobs, had access for their kids into the health insurance market because we know, all of us know, that it's critical that those kids be insured. We got into the conference committee. I worked with both Republicans and Democrats, and we came up with a, with a solution that significantly expanded the access to health insurance for kids in this state. Now, they've cut it back since in the last few years. And we know what's happened in the last few years. And I'm going to tell you, that didn't happen when I was there. We built it forward. Now, that's what I would do if I went to Congress. I'd move toward this, this same kind of an idea. We have got to pull people together that care about, number one, the fundamental right that our young people should have to be covered by health insurance so that there's not a worry about whether or not they're getting preventative care. So you take them into the doctor when they need it. That's the kind of thing we should all be trying to work toward. The devil is in the details of how you put it together. 
but you move toward that common solution. And I want to say one little thing more. It would be a heck of a lot easier if we elect a president who wants to solve this problem. The president made uh, all these new administrative rules under the cover really of darkness. Um, and no one really knew it while the S chip bill was going through, uh, mostly on the funding. There was all of these things going on in the background. And the difference between me and my opponents is I knew it and protested it as it was going on. Um, and that's what I'll do. We'll go back in and we'll look at all of those administrative rules. And we will, we have a lot of work to do, you guys. We have a lot of work to do. And I've watched and I've written down, I've got a file of all the things that we need to do to turn back the administrative rules and then fully fund the programs that we need to make sure our children are able to see a doctor. Um, so I would just say that, you know, when you're making a choice, just, it's, it's best to go with who's best prepared. And as my uh, friend, uh, Mr. Goss said, the best way to judge a person is, is by what they've already done. Uh, I filed, I'm the one who filed the Cover All Kids bill this past year um, and had good bipartisan support to some degree. I was the one who was chairperson of the Health Appropriations Committee two years in a row that recommended in a bipartisan way we had, we finally got even Republicans to vote to restore health care two years in a row in my committee that I was the ranking member of. That's what I've done. Those are my accomplishments in healthcare so far. Now I know I, they like to they like to say Judy Baker has never passed a bill. I've passed many healthcare things in other people's bill because sometimes you have to give away your idea not to get credit for it because it's the right thing to do. I worked in the minority. I had to work in minority and get some things done, whereas my colleagues did not. And I, I gave away my ideas when it didn't, ha you didn't have to take credit for it, but it was the right thing to do. I will make sure that we cover all kids. Every child should have the right to see a doctor. It's as simple as that. I believe Americans believe that, and we just got to bring out the best in America.